So you want to become a pro at editing YouTube videos. You want to become the next Andrew Kramer. Okay, well maybe not the next Andrew Kramer, but still, you want to be more confident at editing your YouTube videos and making sure they look the best they can be. There are a lot of resources out there for learning how to edit videos, to doing motion graphics, and so many people are confused and conflicted on trying to pick which one to go for, which one to invest your time and potentially money into to actually learn the tools that you want to learn. It's that tricky balance of trying to find find the tools you actually want to learn how to use and then finding reliable resources to actually make you more confident and more efficient at using those tools. But fear not, I've actually gone through and collated and collected every single reliable resource that I have personally used over the last 10 years of being a video editor and a motion graphics designer and I've combined them all into this one single video just for you guys. I've even included all of the links to all the relevant resources right there in the description for you guys to just go ahead and click on once you've watched the video. Damn, I'm good. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Sam, and in today's video, we're gonna make you work smarter, not harder. Just a quick reminder guys, I do stream on Twitch. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The link to my channel is in the description down below. Feel free to come by, ask any questions about the things I mentioned in this video, or if you have any questions about video editing and motion graphic design in general, then be sure to hit me up when I am live. Also, if you find the video helpful, engaging, entertaining, and informative, yada, 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 then be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It is most appreciated. And we are starting this grand old list of resources with number one, that is video editing. Over the last 10 or so years, of being a video editor one thing is very clear to me and that is when you're first starting out it's probably the most daunting experience you can ever do especially when you want to start making your own content for YouTube for Twitter or for any other social platform that you're gonna be designing content for it's one of the most daunting tasks but also the most important part of the video making process where everything comes together and is collectively gathered into one final product so it's most important that people need to get it right and it's daunting for some people when they are first starting out because they don't want to get it wrong then we just quickly get it out there that you will get it wrong. Video editing is a thing that takes time, takes years, it takes practice, and most importantly, it takes patience to learn how to edit video correctly and how to get good at it. That being said, it doesn't mean that you can't start learning now. And some of the best resources I've ever used for learning software and learning how to edit, starting at number one, is Ripple Training. Ripple Training is an online resource for Final Cut Pro, Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, and Apple Motion Training tutorials, videos, and courses. We offer a lot of pay tutorials on their website which if you are interested in learning how to use software and get into the deeper end of using software professionally I recommend picking up one of their courses their certified DaVinci Resolve training is only 99 bucks right now on their store and it goes from start to finish it goes into every single detail about DaVinci Resolve so if you are interested in picking that up and getting deeper into DaVinci Resolve editing then uh, I would consider looking at that they have a lot of uh, deals and discounts on their website as well so be sure to keep your eyes out for that when those things do drop because uh, I highly recommend doing that. Not only do they offer a lot of tutorials and training on their website, but they also offer a lot of free stuff on their YouTube channel, like the Resolve in a Rush, which is like a five minute breakdown at different things about the Resolve program, using DaVinci Resolve to do different things. So I highly recommend checking out their YouTube channel before you do buy anything or want to buy anything because their YouTube channel is jam packed full of stuff and you might find what you're looking for over there first. I actually personally know the guys behind it. Steve and Mark are great guys. They do awesome work and their training is buying on some of the best you can get out there. They're a bit pricey, a bit more expensive, but believe me, it's absolutely worth every single penny. Moving on to our next editing resource, and that is good old Larry Jordan. Larry Jordan is a professional video editor and has been for many years now, and he offers training courses for Premiere and Final Cut Pro 10 on his website. A little bit differently to Ripple Training, he actually offers a monthly subscription to his site, which gives you access to 1,900 training courses for Premiere and Final Cut Pro 10. He also offers a lot of free resources on his site, including a free weekly webinar, as well as tons of related articles and books and websites. There are three membership plans on Larry's website. There is basic, premium and VIP with varying prices and perks, but it does look as though you can buy individual lessons if you don't want to opt in for a subscription model. Then you can buy them for a fixed price on different ones, depending on how long they are and what they include. He does do a lot of free YouTube content as well, mostly of his free weekly webinars. So I recommend going and check him out over there and uh, see if it's what you like. Moving on to the next one. If you want to learn more about the psychology of video editing, more so the craft rather than the software, then the next best resource I have for you is 
is inside the edit. Inside the edit is a creative editing course which is designed to be aimed at people who want to learn more about editing for narrative production like TV and film production. It's a little bit outside the realm of YouTube but it's a fantastic resource and I thought I'd include it in the list for those people that want to get more into storytelling inside of their YouTube videos. It's also a fantastic way of learning the actual craft of video editing and understanding the psychology and the thinking behind certain editing decisions and why you would go a certain direction when telling a story versus a different direction or telling a story. So go check them out if you want to learn a little more about that. So let's move on to something a little more niche and it's tutorials for Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. You guys know me, I'm a huge advocate for Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a single one-time purchase for some incredibly made and produced graphic design software. And number two, it's incredibly less daunting than using stuff like Photoshop or Illustrator. 99% of the time, the one thing that puts people off from learning new software is the interface, how it looks, the way it greets you when you first launch it. That really scares people and stops people from wanting to learn that piece of software. Here's an example. How many of you guys have opened up Photoshop or Illustrator or even After Effects, opened up for a few seconds, took a good long look at it and closed it and then gone for a nap? I'm not saying I did, but... You get the idea. Anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. It's $50 for each application, which is incredibly competitive compared to other software solutions out there which require you to pay a monthly fee. Both applications are great and I recommend them for any content creator that wants to have an extra tool in their toolbox for designing some really cool graphics for their Twitch, for their YouTube and doing anything else remotely creative. And with that, some of the awesome resources that come with it are actually some of the ones by the developers themselves. They have a whole section for learning both applications on their website ready for you to dive into from the basic to the more advanced learning applications. Along with those tutorials they actually have a store which sell loads of resources that you guys can buy and use like art brushes textures logo templates and so on loads of resources that you guys can buy and use in your projects other places for resources include a youtube channel called affinity revolution those guys over there have extensive tutorials in affinity uh, designer and photo as well as publisher which is the third app that they sell on their page as well as uh, affinity designer for the ipad they've also just released their first affinity photo course which by the looks of it, it's absolutely free and uh, might be worth checking out if you guys are interested in learning more about Affinity Photo. Moving on from that, let's jump into some juicy motion graphics. Right, the big one, let's get them out of the way first of all. That is Video Copilot. Video Copilot has become the resource for After Effects tutorials and guides on the internet. And if you have no idea who Andrew Kramer is, then uh, do you even know how to use After Effects? Andrew has built an extensive collection of After Effects tutorials as well as releasing some incredibly intuitive plugins that have helped creators make some amazing and detailed motion graphics and visual effects. He also provides tutorials and the tools to make things inside of After Effects using 100% inbuilt tools and nothing third party. He is basically an incredible human being and if you want to learn more about After Effects you should go and check out his stuff like right now. On the back end of that there is another incredible resource I recommend checking out. His name is Mount Mograph. Mount Mograph is another awesome After Effects resource that provides tutorials that go in depth in learning how to design and animate some really clean and some really modern motion graphics. He also provides some really cool tools and plugins, a couple of them you've already seen me use on this channel to actually help with the animation process to actually design the things he's designing in his YouTube videos. So I recommend those two guys for After Effects and once again I recommend Ripple Training if you want to to learn a little bit more about Apple Motion. Apple Motion is the program you see me use from time to time on this channel, so I recommend those guys once again if you want to learn a little bit more about Apple Motion and using it for your own content. But those are some of the resources that I've collected and gathered over the last 10 years of being a video editor and a motion graphics artist. If you guys know any more on YouTube or off YouTube, then be sure to leave in the comments down below. Aside from that, guys, that is everything on the list. If you guys want to check out the resources I've mentioned in this video, then be sure to look in the description down below. They're all there, listed for you. And once again, guys, if you have any questions about the things I've mentioned in this video, I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. The link to that channel is also in the description down below. I actually am preparing for my third 24 hour stream. We are doing it this Halloween, October 31st at 7 p.m. GMT. We've got lots of things planned, including some lovely 3 a.m. creepypasta, along with reviewing and redesigning your streams live during the 24 hours, as well as getting my fingernails painted by my little sister. So yeah, that should be fun. And guys, we also hit over 1,000 members in the Discord. So if you guys want to be a part of a community of streamers, content creators, and just all around awesome people, then be sure to jump into the Discord. The link is in the description for that. But once again, guys, thank you all so much 
for watching and all the support you've given. I'll see you all next time. Take care. <laughs> that is a hot dog that my parents are making a joke. <laughs> is that a hot dog in a f***ing baguette? <laughs> Dan said that. He said he's had a hot dog in a f***ing baguette. Yes, it is. And you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs>